We have Jan Krzysztof Duda here with us, the great star from Poland. Uh, five out of seven so far. How would you rate your tournament until now? I would say it's okay. Uh, and the thing is, I lost uh, today's first game against Satorov, which uh, was very tense. And at some point, I'm, I'm convinced I was better, but uh, it, it was very, very tense position to play. With, uh, I, mean, I mean, when you have no time, it's uh, like extremely tricky to play such positions because you have to constantly evaluate things, and there is no time to do it. And um, yeah, then I blundered a couple of things, and he um, converted it. I also had some chances later on, but. Uh, Missed some details, and that was quite an unfortunate loss. But um, yeah, but now uh, I'm in the second game of today. I I won, maybe not so great game, but at least with a nice touch in the well, end. Well, the uh, point counts. So, as you said, the, it didn't start well, but you know you lost, and you had to kind of get together quickly and, and uh, start again. Obviously, the tempo of play here is much shorter, and the space between games is much shorter. How difficult is it for you to recover after a loss so quickly? How do you? manage i don't think i uh, i recovered to be honest but i mean i just had to focus on the next game and uh, and i was white so and that also helped a bit um i don't think there is a way you know to forget uh, like you just have to you know uh, move on compared to classical chess how does rapid and blitz fit you are you more comfortable in uh, are you comfortable equally in all three sets of play or is something rapid something you prefer more yeah the shorter uh, the cam time control is the better i feel um but um, i'm also quite successful in rapid uh, for some reason uh, right now i have the highest rating in rapid which is kind of strange but um the classical chess is the one i like least to be honest uh because i'm an intuitive guy and uh, you know, you know, if there is no time to calculation, it's. Uh, I guess it's better for me in the long run. And when are the games? Mo when is the creativity biggest? Does it more most come to fore in longer classical games, or is it more likely to come to fore in shorter games like blitz or rapid? Uh, maybe in shorter time controls. I mean, it's. Uh, it depends, but uh, it's easier to be more creative, you know, in in blitz because uh, that is like. Um, a fair chance that even if your idea is wrong, then I mean your opponent might uh, very easily not refute it. And in classical chess, it's risky, you know, to uh, I, I mean to be over creative. So uh, yeah, I would say that in blitz it's uh, the easiest to be, to be creative, but um, it's about of course mentality. No, not everybody can do it. You had a fantastic run in the previous edition in your home country, Poland. Now we're in Kazakhstan here, where you're hoping to repeat something great. I'm just wondering. Is it easier for you now that you're not playing in your home country, or is it the pressure? Is the pressure off, or was the advantage of home turf better for you when you were playing in Poland? No, I think it's always difficult to play in your home country. Um, of course, expectations are uh, are bigger, and uh, it's like additional pressure. But on the other hand, you know, it's uh, there are not so many uh, like let's say big tournaments, like very strong tournaments in Poland. So I was, uh, and it's also supposed to be in Kazakhstan, yeah, but was uh, for certain reasons moved to Warsaw. And um, yeah, so I was at times, you know, kind of forgetting that uh, I was playing <laughs> in Warsaw in Poland. Uh, yeah, but it's of course more difficult to play. Uh, I mean, being watched by by uh, your audience. I mean, I mean, Polish people. Thank you very much for your time. Wish you all the best in the rest of the tournament. Thank you.